by opening your Vim Backup for AWS console. So right click on the appliance and click Open Console. Then under Protected Data, you'll see on the EC2 tab all your protected EC2 instances. Before we continue, let's terminate one of the instances to show you the restoration process. Now go to Policies and rerun the policy so we can see the changes. You notice the deleted instance disappears and you get some warnings because it will say that the protected instance is missing. Now go to protected data and select the recently terminated instance. Click restore and select instance restore. In this first step of the process, you have to select the restore point where you want to restore from. So click on the instance and then restore point. Here, you have access to various restore options and will select the most recent healthy backup. Next, you have to select the account that you want to restore into and you need an IAM role that has the necessary permissions to restore into that account. I'll select the EC2 IAM role I had created and you can check the permissions as well. You can even grant temporary access keys for the restore operation. If you wish to restore into your production account or into a separate account from where your Vim Backup for AWS resides, then you need to specify and deploy workers in that account. So enable this and select the appropriate IAM role. You can even check the permissions as well. Here in the restore mode, you can choose to restore to the original location or to restore to a new location with different settings and also use AWS Outlook. We'll restore to the original location. Finally, you can give a restore region and click next and you'll get a summary of your restore settings. You can select to power on the target instance after the restore process is completed. To follow the restoration process, you can go to session log. You'll see that it's running and once the process is completed, you can see all the operations that were performed. If you go back to the AWS console and refresh it, you'll see that the instance is back up and running. 